Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So I'm very excited about today's video. Also, I'm going to shout out to my friend Lenny from next door. He's going to hang out with us uh, this afternoon. Okay. So this is the hydro forming temper from uh, iDrop Prep. Okay. So, you know, what? I'm going to give you guys a close look and let's make a coffee with it. Okay. I'm very excited about this because as you can see, you see that? I mean, this thing is a... Okay, so this is remind me of something, okay? I'm not going to say on TV, uh, on YouTube, but this remind me of something. But yeah, silicon base there. Very strong, by the way. Anyway, so let's make some coffee with it. Uh, let's pull the shot and see what happens. All right. Okay, here we go. I'm going to show you guys the workflow here. That's the Lenny. Is a uh, so Nikki is also joining us as well. Hey Nikki, oh, yeah. See him. You got the Nikki is also joining us as well today. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's back to. Okay, again. So this is called hydro foaming. I mean, so instead of using regular temper. So this is a regular temper, okay? Very flat surface. Instead, now you're using this hydroform silicone base, okay? It's gonna work? I'm not sure, I'm very excited to use this. Let's make some coffee with that. Uh, so I'm using my IMS Precision Baskets. I already measured out some coffee here already. We got 18 grams. So here's the fun part happens right here, okay. I'm gonna give guys a close up here right now. Do some close up. I'm just gonna tap. Let's do some little bit, a uh, little bit of WDT. Not too much. The P64 does fine job, comes to grind coffee there. Okay. I'm just going to do some Why quick. Does that go out and come on? Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. Do some quick distribution. Okay. So now I'm going to be using my hydro foaming. I'm just going to temp it. Okay. Just like so. Interesting, guys. Wow. I'm very surprised. Okay, I think we're going, I'm going to have some like curve. Not too bad. Okay, not too bad there. Yeah, not too bad. I'm just going to add my puck screen on the top. Okay, let's give it a try. I'm going to make a quick latte for Lenny this afternoon. Okay. Got my milk ready as well. Okay, guys, here I go. The moment of truth. 
Let's see what kind of shot quality we're going to get out of it. Looks pretty good, guys. Okay. Not bad at all. 25 second shot there. I thought it's gonna be. I have no idea what. Uh, why I expect it, but yeah. Overall. Okay. Let's do some milk. Milk is almost ready. Just gonna give it a quick clean. Get with the Lenny here. A couple of pumps of caramel. All right. So let's do some little bit of latte art. Oh, it looks pretty good today. Okay. Not bad today. Okay, okay, let me try that coffee there. Should be good. Okay. Oh, that's nice and rich. Yeah, that's very nice and rich coffee. Yeah, that, it has a cocoa flavor. Yeah. Is that with nutmeg? I'm gonna top it up. Hmm? Is that with nutmeg? Yeah, that's the nutmeg uh, tasting, tasting note there, so. Nikki's just testing. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so mm. I'm. That is delicious. Okay, so anyway, so I mean that overall, that looks pretty good. Hold on a second here. Uh, let's see. We got some questions there. <clears throat> uh, Jason has a question. Uh, Jason asked me. <clears throat> Hold on. Uh, just do, you know what? Uh, yeah, let's do that without at the. Uh, the without uh, distribution, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, uh, uh, I'm gonna show you guys one more time. Uh, this time without the distribution, just, just tamp it. Okay, see what happens. And again, uh, has some the leftover coffee grinds. So you gotta just make sure clean, okay? You gotta make sure to do some, you know, do some light cleaning, should be good. But other than that, I mean, so far, so good with this. Uh, so let's do one more time. Okay, let's do one more time there. Yeah, let's do one more. All right, here we go. So this time without the distribution. By the way, I'm using the coffee from Good Brothers Coffee there. I mean, this medium to dark roast uh, works pretty good. Okay, I have to say it works pretty good for today's coffee. Let's do it again, 18 gram. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, folks, if you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. All right, here we go. So I'm going to shout out to Jason. So this time we're going to go without the distribution. I mean, we're just going to go straight. Another close up here. There we go. I'm I'm, I'm still gonna do a little, little bit of WDT. Do some WDT. Uh, comes to without RDT. RDT means rust wrapper technique. I got some little bit of static there, so not too much. Okay. But if you wanna lower your static, just make sure you use the uh, do a couple drops of water. Okay, here we go. Again, do just a silicone. Okay, I'm just gonna do just temp. Just make sure temping, just like regular, you know, temping technique. Just make sure everything is nice and straight. Just like that. I wonder if I'm going to go without the puck screen. You know, let's do without the puck screen this time. Yeah, let's do without the puck screen. Because sometimes the puck screen, yeah, let's do without the puck screen. That's a big test. Let's do without the puck screen. I'm going to lock it in. All right, here we go. <clears throat> this time is without the puck screen, just a distribution, not, not even distribution, just a little bit of WDT and that's it. Looks pretty good, I have to say. Okay. Looks pretty good there. Forty-three gram at twenty-four seconds. Not bad. I'm pretty impressed so far. Okay. Let's let's examine the puck. Obviously, we're gonna have some wet puck there. I mean, kind of like roundish, okay? Roundish. It's all right. I mean, you know what? The the wet puck doesn't mean anything, but yeah. Obviously, we have this great looking shot of coffee. Yeah. Hmm. By the way, Lenny, he just finished with his coffee. Goodness, he slimmed it down. Wonderful. Okay. All right, I'm leaving. All right, Lenny. Thank you, Hoon. That was wonderful. Okay. Come on, Lenny. Okay, comes to uh, compared to one shot. You know what? I mean, I need to go look, uh, go back and take a look at it again. But I mean. I think it's about about the same, but I mean, it looks pretty. I mean, it. I mean, that still looks good. Okay, either one still looks good. So the reason why I really like this one, I just use it just now. Okay, I mean, so I just use that with you guys for the first time on the live streaming, and so cost effective is only about forty nine bucks. Forty nine bucks. That's it. Is that gimmick? So far, we put two shots. Works pretty good. Okay, 
works pretty good so far. Yeah, I mean, I have to say it's not bad. Better quality, you know, I mean, it's just, it's not spectacular. Compared to San Anthony industry, comes the build quality, there's no comparison, okay? Or compared to even like the Bravo tempers here, no. It's a lot better as well. But comes to price wise, can beat it, okay? Can beat the price. But my concern is at home, okay? We have a lot of sharp objects around at home. Sometimes we might accidentally puncture this, okay? We might accidentally puncture it. So, I mean, that's the one concern I have, all right? But as long as you're careful with it, just make sure between the use, just wipe it clean, okay? Just make sure wipe it clean, but again, this is a silicone, uh, seems like, a feels like silicone, okay? It feels really nice, all right? So, yeah. Pretty good, okay? Anyway, if you have any questions or comment, let me know. I think there's a couple of videos on this on YouTube. Um, actually, they go really into technical aspects of it. But for me, I'm more interested in workflow and how it's gonna look like when I pull the shot. So again, there's uh, other information out there. So make sure to check it out. Let's see, what else? Uh, uh, Richard asking, can you get a re replacement? I don't, hold on a second, you. Yeah. Oh, interesting, guys. You can actually get the replacement for this, okay? You can actually get the replacement. And if you want to, you can actually put your logo as well. Yeah. You can put your logo, your shop logo, or whatever, your personal logo. Yeah. Pretty good. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions or comment, let me know, okay? And uh, yeah, again, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna check the live chat going on right now. Hold on, we have Jason, we talk about that, Jason. Okay, Giovanni, you got Loves. I got, uh, obviously you got Florian as well. Hold on, you got Freezing. Okay, hold on, a bunch of dead spots. I saw a bunch of dead spots. You know what? I, I, it's, could be the dead spot. I'm not sure. I, I'm going to go take a look at it. You know, when I'm done with the shots. But overall, pretty good. By the way, I'm using that precision baskets. I mean, most baskets come close nicely in the beginning. But with the, these baskets, it does take time to uh, come to one uh, stream there. So, Okay, folks. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Uh, I'm going to be back uh, sometime today. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be playing with, it's called Mellow Drip. I just got this one, Mellow Drip. Uh, this is it, guys. So this is called Mellow Drip. Uh, it's kind of like the brewing assistant, uh, assist device there. I mean, I thought, you know, it's going to be like overpriced, but comes to play with today. So this one is about 40 bucks with the shipping. Feels pretty good. It's well made. Okay, well made. It's gonna make better coffee. Let's find that. Okay, let's find that as well. Okay, folks. I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon, and see you guys next time.